How does it feel for me? Gemma's update, June 2021. How has your health been since the last time we spoke? Quite rapidly declined um, over the last, I'd say, eight, maybe nine weeks. I got fluid around my heart, which was quite dangerous, which needed draining off. My kidney function at that time was kind of stable, around the 12 um, percent mark on the GFR um, but because of the fluid around my heart that dropped to six percent um, which then resulted in needing to start dialysis that same day so that's kind of just steady now on on dialysis. My kidney function dropping to such a low level and requiring dialysis came as a bit of a shock it it really all happened so quick it's scary and I'm thinking gosh is this it is this kind of like what life is now just you know dependent on this machine when can't make any plans for anything so yeah mentally it's 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 draining have you had any update about your kidney transplant my mum and my sister are both a match my sister being the better match so they called her last week and said that they'd like to go ahead and proceed with further testing on her and um, for the potential to be a live donor but as yet, I've heard absolutely nothing. There's nobody's contacted me or told me, you know, that she's a match and they're going to proceed with, with her. So, and I've heard nothing about the MRI or, you know, the outcome of the MDT meeting. It's kind of still pretty much in the dark. I'm feeding my information from my sister at the minute. Which health professionals have you been in touch with in the last month? Uh, the gastroenterologist, they contacted me back for just a general update on how things were going since starting a new medication for pancreatic enzymes. I had a discussion with them about increasing the dose because it, it really wasn't working. Since starting dialysis, that's really affected. Um, so they increased them. And then out of the blue last week, he called me back and said, no, don't increase them. Go back to your normal dose because your weight's not um, high enough to warrant the, the, the highness of the dose of the tablets. Uh, so I spoke to them and they've kind of, they've been pretty good actually at, you know, at, at dealing with the issue that I've been having with that. Um, and then I've also heard from the dialysis doctor last week, which was kind of a bit of a shock that came out of the blue. So I wasn't expecting that. Um, he seemed really, really good. He seemed like he knows what he's talking about. You know, he was asking if I've got any problems, any concerns. Um, and then he told me that the gastro doctor had actually contacted him um, about these pancreatic enzyme tablets and then I heard from the diabetic doctor just a few days ago um, to work out blood sugars and um, the insulin that comes through my pump on dialysis days as my blood sugars drop quite a lot as expected after I come off dialysis. What difference has good communication between services made to your experience? It's made a huge difference um, in terms of the treatment that I receive and the care that I get, as there's not, the treatment can start a lot sooner and there's not a massive delay in one doctor speaking to another doctor about medication and it taking weeks upon weeks to get that all sorted out and it getting back to the original doctor. So the communication has been quite impressive this month. Yeah, it's, it's a lot better and it's made a huge impact. How did your dialysis appointments go? Dialysis goes quite rough, really. It's um, I get there on the morning and my blood pressure is quite high. It's like literally 200 over like 130. Um, but when I come off dialysis, it's extremely low. It's really, it drops quite rapid. And as the day goes on, it gets even lower and lower. Now, the doctor said because it's so high in the morning, they want to start me on amlodipine, a blood pressure tablet. But that, to me, is quite scary because when I'm taking it, after dialysis, when it's going low, it's just getting, it's going even lower. And I was at a point, not last week, the week before, I literally could not even sit up, let alone stand up. I, was, I felt so poorly. And I was thinking, gosh, I'm going to end up in hospital by the end of the day. Um, I slept for quite a long time. Um, and I was still really, really dizzy and uh, lightheaded when I'd got back up like five hours later. If I spoke these concerns to the nurses on the dialysis ward, 
and they are the only thing they can do is email the doctor and wait for the doctor to email back so there's there's quite a delay in in responses there it's been i think i've waited four days so far to find out what is actually going to happen with this blood pressure tablet if you could have changed one thing to make your experience better this month what would it be more communication between the nurses on the dialysis ward and the dialysis doctor because i think there's quite a long time gap between getting you know the doctor contacting the nurses back with issues or problems um and the other one would be more direct contact with myself um like i said earlier there's still no i've not heard anything about the my transplant status or what's going on my sister's told me she's a match and they're going to continue with her but nobody's actually told me anything at all